Hello, my name is Arthur, and together with Professor Alexi and Professor Hunter from the University of Brasilia, we did the project design and construction of a didactic low-velocity wind tunnel. Our work is divided into introduction, methodology, results, and conclusion. Well, several areas utilize applied aerodynamics, such as construction or vehicle design. And research in the aerodynamic domain was motivated mainly by the need to improve the performance and the fuel consumption of the cars and airplanes. So if you go faster with less fuel is better. And there are three ways to analyze a fluid, analytical, computational, and experimental. And wind tunnels are divided into two categories and have two possible test section configuration. The closed circuit tunnel, where they are recirculated inside it, and the open circuit, where the air does not recirculate inside it. The text chamber is open when it does not have solid barriers and closed when it has walls. Well, the main objective of this work is to design and build a bench wind tunnel, which preferably has a uniform flow in its test section. The particular objective is to define the dimensional size of the wind tunnel, design the shape of the flow path, and provide the analytical and numerical studies of the flow inside the tunnel. The methodology of the work is divided into the structure design of the settling chamber, test chamber, power unit, nozzle and diffuser, and the numerical simulation of this structure. Let's start talking about the settling chamber. The uniformization process of the flow starts here, reducing vortices. Installation of the honeycomb plate in the constant area inlet is the way that the settling chamber works and the honeycomb plate follow three essential parameters for its design, the cell size, the cell wall thickness, and the honeycomb plate thickness. The C represents the cell size, the pH, the cell wall thickness, and the honeycomb plate thickness is the honeycomb plate thickness. <laughs> the settling chamber, the test, the test chamber is the starting point of the wind tunnel project. This section carries out the experiments and allows us to observe, observe the fluid behavior. Length is twice the hydraulic di diameter. Here we have an example of a test section with, pro uh, uh, with a square cross sectional area. The, the power unit. The developed wind tunnel utilizes a fan with straight blades to add power to the system. The author estimated the fan power according to Barlow, the book Barlow. The fan speed was found experimentally using the tachometer and the anemometer. After the flow velocity measurement, according to Bernoulli equation, the dynamic pressure was calculated using the following equation, as half of the air density times the speed to the power of 2. The nozzle, it has a high impact on the test chamber flow quality. The construction of this part has to respect the following three parameters, area ratio between 8 and 9, the angles alpha, alpha and beta, divided by 2, recommended value is 12 degrees, here we can see in this image, and the shape formed by two equation cubics, and here we can see that it's formed by one equation cubic, one cubic equation, and here the other cubic equation. The area ratio is calculated using the area of the inlet divided by the area of the outlet. The diffuser, change from square to circular section, where here the square section is the test section, and the circular one is where the fan is fixed. This part is essential for the quality of the flow because if the boundary layer detaches, the pressure variations in this region will affect the flow in the text chamber. The diffuser lamp for an expansion angle theta degree is found using the following equation, where R1 is half of the hydraulic inlet diameter and R2 is the half of the hydraulic diameter. Using this, this, this layout, we can calculate the length of the diffuser. The numerical simulation was made using the incompressible average never stoke equations approximate the physical process in the low-velocity wind tunnel, expressed in three-dimensional form together with k omega SST model. This equation system perfectly describes the flow behavior in the computational domain. The pressure inlet and the pressure outlet type bound to the defined boundary conditions of the domain. Wall utilizes the non slipping conditions. And to solve this, the third order muscle solution method for the flow equations and second order of wind method with high order of term relaxation for turbulence properties allow receiving a high quality simulation result. An analysis of the following parameters is necessary for the 
for a definite study of the flow pattern in the aerodynamic wind tunnel, the velocity change along the wind tunnel, the y plus criteria, and the velocity uniformity in boundary layer behavior in test sections. So, the final result of the work is the wind tunnel with 2.3 meters in length and 0.74 meters in height. Here you can see the sampling chamber, nozzle test chamber, diffuser, and fan. So the sampling chamber has the sampling chamber has a honeycomb screen made of aluminum alloy. It has 0.58 by 0.58 meters in size and 0.00 and 0.04 meters in thickness. The design parameters are the number of cells with 4,355 cells. The wall thickness is 0.05 times 10 to the power of minus 3 meters, and the size of a single cell is 5.2 times 10 to the power of minus 3 meters. The, the nozzle, test chamber, and diffuser are represented here, where the area ratio of the nozzle is 8.4, its length is 0.874 meters, and the inlet is the same of the settling chamber, and the outlet is the same size of the text chamber, is 0.2 by 0.2. The text chamber has an area ratio of 1, a length of 0.2, and the inlet and the outlet of 0.2 by 0.2. The diffuser has an area ratio of 1.75 and a length of 0.954 meters. The inlet is the same size of the test chamber and the outlet has a diameter of 0.3 meters. The power unit, or the axial fan. The speed of 8.94 meter, meters per second in the test section requires a fan power of more than 70 watts. The closest 0.3 meters fan found on the market for this project is the biphasic fan, fan of 80 watts controlled by a pulse widget modulation. The experimental investigation with the tachometer and anemometer allows the de determining the flow speed after the fan and the RPM as a function of flow velocity. Here you can see if the position of the potentiometer in the PWM is 50%, we have an uh, 1200 RPM with a velocity of 5.1 meters per second and the pressure, uh, dynamic pressure of 15 Pascal. And this graph represents the uh, increase of the RPM, so will the increase of the speed of the flow. The geometry of the tunnel has vertical and horizontal symmetry axis, and the computational volume consists only of the quarter of the tunnel. Here you can see the symmetry in the three parts of the tunnel and the curvilinear structure mesh generation follow the ANSI verification models. Here we can see that closest to the wall we have a refined mesh. The result is here, a velocity magnet magnitude, where we, in the simulation defining the ventilator pressure drop of 30 Pascal as a boundary condition, and the flow pattern is smooth following the wall without the flow separation. Here you can see the uniform velocity in the test chamber. An analysis of the boundary layer behavior presented in figure 18 shows a reasonable thickness of the boundary layer. It occupies 5% of the cross-sectional area at the inlet of the text chamber and 9% at its exit. A uniform velocity distribution outside the boundary layer justifies the nozzle and the fissure design. Here in this graph, we can see that the uniform velocity outside of the boundary layer. Here is the represent, representation of the boundary layer. And the other graph shows the change of the static pressure in the test section along the axis from 0 to 400 and in the perpendicular direction to the wall. The pressure in the axial direction happens due to the flow acceleration because of the boundary layer growth and the friction with the wall. Here we can see the exit of the test section. The conclusions of this work is that the authors, of, the authors define the dimensions and shape of the low-velocity deduct open circle in the tunnel. The square test section is transparent, so we can see the experiments. The tunnel components are designed to provide a highly uniform flow in the test section, and the numerical simulation show that the nozzle effectively accelerates the flow and the boundary layer occupies from 5% to 9% of the test section. Future development will focus in construction of the test bench 
structure and validating the structure with experiments. Thank you for your attention and I'm here to answer your questions.